you're visiting Jamaica, you want to wake up in the morning. You want to wake up in the morning to the fragrance, the smell of some roast breadfruit fry over on a plate beside some callaloo on a plate beside some fry plantain and some akia saltfish on the same plate, right? You want somebody to take you, carry you around the place so you have company, so you're not there on your own and these kind of things. You know, cause we're the next party there because you're there to enjoy yourself, right? You want people to stop what's going on in their life and to cater to you for the time being that you are there, don't it? All right. We put up a video recently. Welcome to SoFlow TV again, everybody. It's your host with the most. Every argument has two sides. We're talking about them family members there on the other video that wanted you to send money all the time or send things and top of the line things as well. That was that video. Every argument have two sides. This video, we're talking about the family members that are living overseas that are being asked to send stuff. A direct message to you right now is this. Family is your responsibility. Yeah, I said it. Family is your responsibility. And if you cannot do a little something on your path to take care of family, then you don't deserve family, right? A lot of you that live overseas, you can do better. You can do more, right? For the ones them that can't do more, the same for you. If you genuinely know within yourself, not for social media, if you general, genuinely know within yourself that you can not do better and you are doing all you can, then big up to you because family is your responsibility and you're handling your responsibility. But for the one them that's here, they want to make sure so them have the latest this, they want to make sure they have the nicest that, they have to make sure that they are in the club popping bottles at $200 a bottle. They have to make sure that they spend out a whole heap of money flossing. And then you have family members back home who are genuinely hurting and you know that. Missy Monday are foreign. Let me give you a good example. Missy Monday are foreign, right? Making crazy money crazy money and all that crazy money goes to showing off showing people that them have things and their own mother who was a good mother to them throughout their whole life not to mention this is your queen gave birth to you raised you and never left you nowhere and then you have granny and granny need help. And you're there far in a mind, strange girl. And when I say strange girl, I mean you have your wife, you have your side chick, you have your substitute, you have your number four, you have all kind of different women. And you're able to support and mind all of them. Them people that may I talk to. Those are the people we are talking to on this video. If you neglect your responsibility of helping family, then you don't deserve family. It's just like saying, if you neglect your responsibility of being a parent, a loving, nurturing parent, then you don't deserve to have children. Because if abuse, is what you are giving to your children then you don't deserve to have children if you are not a loving caring parent nurturing parent you don't deserve to have children it's the same thing principles apply to people who have family 
neglect their responsibilities knowingly, spend out their money, dash it to everywhere, and then when they get to Jamaica, boom, you just pop up in other people's life and you expect them to stop everything they're doing and cater to you for the time being that you're there. It's not fair. It's not fair. There's a part in that song where him say, you want rum cake, you want sorrel, you want, and that's a lot of us. When we go to Jamaica, we want roast breadfruit, we want rum cake, we want sorrel, we want them fried fish for we carry it back, we want all kind of something. But when we are here in foreign, we are dodging our family members' calls. You dodge them. Family that don't really pressure you like that unless they really, really, really need it. My principle is this. If I was in Jamaica, whatever I had or have there would have to share for me and my family. So because I'm overseas, it doesn't change the rules, the narratives, the narrative of the story. It doesn't change the fact that they are still my family and I still have to share with them. You understand? Watch the comment section and you will see how many people have a story to tell about ungrateful family members now speaking to the people them that are in jamaica the family members that are in jamaica that call your family overseas for send a thing send a thing have some conscience and know say which part where they are foreign it's not the bed of rose that it has been portrayed to be that fantasy talk why we can't wait for each a foreign because this I go get set straight, that I go get set straight. Granted, foreign is land of opportunity for a lot of people. And I'm not just saying one country, that's why I miss a foreign. So foreign would entail or include Canada, England, all these other up and up countries then. Where the economy is a little bit better and opportunities abound. I always tell people this. Once you have health and strength and you're able to do it, you can make something of yourself in America where you can rise above the poverty line. You understand? Where you can get yourself to a position in life to stop living paychecks to paychecks. Some people don't want to do the work. I'm a firm believer in work. I did two jobs for four years straight. And I'm not talking about no two regular jobs. One of those jobs, listen to the details you know. One of those jobs required me to be at work seven days a week. That mean no days off from the job there. And my, uh, and, and my other full-time job required me to do 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. at night. I had another job. One of my two jobs was 2 to 10 and the other one was 11 to 7. I've done it. I did that for four years straight. 2 to 10 and then 11 to 7. 16 hours out of every 24 hours with one hour spent traveling to in between job. So I'm working 17 out of 24 hours of a day for four years straight. I remember when the baby was being born, I had to pay somebody $200 to work for me for one night to fill in my space, to run my route for one night, just so I could be there in the hospital when that baby was born. So I had to pay $200 to get a 24 hours off. From one job. So you see, life of foreign not too easy. But where you can help, you help. You know what I'm saying? We have the opportunity. In other words, then we have family members back home that we know they're not lazy. We know they're creative. We know they're talented. 
we know that they put their shoulders to the wheel and them try everything. They're just not in a position to get it how we get it. I tell people this all the time. I live in Florida and there's a high school that is close to my house. And every time I make it a point to drive by that high school and just look at the parking lot. The parking lot of a high school. And there is literally, there is more than 200 cars every single school day in that school parking lot. More than 200 cars in the student parking lot and this is high school. Our family in Jamaica don't have those luxuries. The average high school student in Jamaica does not own a car. And we're talking about in the US where the bus system, transportation system is quite on time. It's very reliable. But people are doing so well financially that they, that they can get cars at high school age. Now, what I'm trying to say is this. You are able to get up and work and the jobs are there. We know trying people who don't have no opportunity around them to advance that are family members. So when them try and them try and them try and they exhaust their options or they get a little something but it's still barely getting by and them ask if they put in a little thing if you can for help for make up what them have already so that they can get along in life then there should be no hard feelings about that you understand there should be no hard feelings about that granted your life is your life to live in them so you have to take care of you first if you cannot take care of you first then you can't take care of other people if you are not okay then you won't be in a position to make others be okay or to help others to be okay an empty vessel has nothing to pour out of it so I understand when people try to safeguard because you have to build a life of your own as well first right and I understand when people try to safeguard some of their earnings and their possessions because they want a comfortable life for themselves I'm not saying to give away your last and then be here hurting but I'm saying don't complain too much give the little you can don't complain too much also in closing this video I'm gonna say this honesty is the biggest part of all this we don't live in the age no more where you have to write a letter put it in an envelope send it go home wait for four or five days for it to reach we don't live in that time frame anymore we live in a world now where your family members in jamaica can see what you're doing overseas especially majority of you who post up everything on facebook and instagram they see they see how you're doing okay so when you did it a portrait because this all started out by people who used to come back to Jamaica in the 80s and the 90s, the early 90s. And they used to come back in Jamaica with big gold chain, one whole heap or something. Money everywhere, buy out the bar. Yeah? And we were there thinking, wow, I saw foreign make people rich. Me want go foreign too. And they never told you the truth. They never told you that they had to be up there working two jobs. A lot of people would go to Jamaica and skylark and fancy and party and live nice. And then when they came back to the US or back to England, wherever they were, Canada, all these places, when they went back overseas, there was a eviction notice on their apartment door. Their funds are low. The lights are about to get cut off. The repo man is coming for the nice car that you see them driving all the time. Because they've missed payments. So 
the honesty part is what is the most important part out of all this. Because I can feel the tension between those that live overseas and those at home. It even got to a point where people back home were saying, if you don't live here more than um, six months out of the year, you don't have no talk, yaso. I've heard those talks before, right? And we've addressed them here on SoFlow TV. The honesty part. You see, you family member that's being asked to send stuff, be honest. Be honest. Don't floss and make up a fake lifestyle to impress people. And then when your family members are begging a small thing, because it looks like a small thing to you, to them, because of how you're portraying your life to be, when it's not really so. You know it's within yourself you're hurting. So be honest with your family. I say, boy, family, listen. A two job I'm working on. And my two jobs are two minimum wage jobs. And they don't even meet my bills. Because when you're there here, I tell people about, I'm hard working, I'm a hustler, I get it, that's why I got two jobs. People in Jamaica, a lot of them are thinking, right, they them have two jobs. In their foreign, so it's two well paying jobs. He must be making a whole lot of money. So if I ask him for a little thing, a little 100 US or 200 US, it probably wouldn't hurt his pockets. That's what they're thinking because that's what you're portraying. So don't bother portray the lies and then be dishonest with your family members and then when them ask you for send a thing, you're over here on social media liking up every video and leaving your comments about them always a big, big, big. Lord, me even stop answering my phone and all this. Because you're lying. And like I said before, when you go to Jamaica, you want to be treated good. If you're supposed to go stay in an all-inclusive and get your meals and enjoy your time on the island, you're going to pay a whopping whole heap of money. So just act like say, this is your all-inclusive and spend that money with your family without complaining. Not for we, we prefer to give the money to other people. I won't say we because I'm not in it. We prefer to give the money to other people. We prefer if we know say, we're there at somebody's hotel and we will spend up all the money we can spend over there. But as soon as it's, you're staying at your family's and them ask if you're like a thing, you, uh, it's a problem. You know what I'm saying? When you go to Jamaica, you want your roast bread fruit fly, fry over. You want your like a fried dumpling them. You want your ackee and salt fish for sap it up. You want all these nice things and when you're leaving, you want a bag of things to carry with you. Mm. You want sorrel. You want ginger. You want yam. You want, you want everything to carry with you. You want fried fish, you want bami, you want everything to carry with you. But these are the same people that when them ask you for a little thing, you have up your face and screw. And you have it, but you just prefer to waste it. So in other words, you're saying they're my family, but they're not priority to me. A party I come up next week in a down. A $200 for a buckle in this up. Me a pop buckle in this up. I have to make sure some of them shoes here, yeah, red bottoms. I mean, I want the fake thing, I want the real thing. I have to make sure some clothes is this and is that. When honestly, you can scale back for some of them things there. Because you have man in a thrift store clothes, a techwear expensive looking man in a him, him head to toe name brand a man in a thrift store clothes I take away your woman same way so end of the day what I'm trying to say is to the people them back home I don't want you to watch this video and think it's something that I promote only one way and I'm sure that's what that artist the prototype meant in the song as well all right I'm sure that's what he meant in that song as well because it had two sides to the conversation 
and we have to hear two sides of the conversation. No, sir? Family is your responsibility. If you refuse to take care of family best as you can, you don't deserve family. And when you go to Jamaica and them don't pay you no mind and you have to be out there on your own and a lot of you, you take so long to go back that when you go the place is brand new to you then I don't blame them for leaving your ass right where you're at. If you can send a thing, send a thing. And if you have family members that are like, boy if you can send it, send it. If not, then understand because you know how life is up there so then let it be that. Leave your comments in the comment section below. I'm out.